the music's exclusive now, over 58 MPs are overstaying in a five-star hotel as they did not like the accommodation allotted to them by the government. The Lok Sabha Secretariat has now asked MPs who continue to live in ITDC hotels in the capital to move to the accommodations allotted to them by the government or foot their own bills. Union Urban Development Minister M. Venkaya Naidu is expected to chair a meeting in the next few days to resolve this issue. In fact, Lok Sabha Housing Committee Chairperson Arjun Ram Meghwal has told Newsex that letters seeking explanations from these MPs has already been dispatched. The government is convinced uh, that uh, you know they, they must move out uh, and not run up this huge expense in, uh, in a five-star hotel which is owned by the government of India and therefore the taxpayers will be paying it. Uh, therefore, I think the government should uh, just uh, uh, cancel the allotment in Ashoka Hotel and have them evicted if they don't leave. Uh, we, we can't pussyfoot on this matter. We, we were quite hard with our own people like Jaswan Singh in wanting to have them vacate uh, their houses. Uh, we have done that with uh, a lot of ex-MPs. So now I think it's time to uh, uh, set an example for your own minister. I do recall that uh, much noise was made about some of my colleagues who stayed in hotels, including colleagues who paid personally to stay in hotels and how much noise was made. But uh, given that the BJP has a very short memory on these things, particularly if that memory reminds them of something wrong that they themselves have said or done, I'm not surprised. Right. A, a notice was uh, shared by uh, the uh, by the housing committee uh, chairman and he had asked these MPs to move out saying that it is costing them a lot of money. In fact, over the last 10 years, the kind of money that has been spent on keeping these MPs uh, in, in, in such accommodations has been in excess of 200 crores. Uh, when it is not just the ruling BJP but across the party line, uh, several, uh, several MPs who have uh, continued to stay uh, more than uh, what they were allowed uh, in such kind of accommodation. So will the government crack the whip and will the government get the MPs to get their act together? Because at the end of the day, this is the taxpayers' money that is being used and something which they need to be accountable for. Well, that remains to be the biggest focus. With video journalist Inam Khwaja, Payal Mehta in Delhi for News X. News X would like to clarify that PDP MP Muzaffar Beg never stayed at the Ashoka Hotel in Delhi. He was allowed to stay at the hotel, but Mr. Bake stayed at Kashmir House instead.